guys. Ness here. Coming at you from my backyard area, Mount Hood, off of Lolo Pass. And today we are talking about that, oh, so catchy, ADV. So yeah, ADV. What is ADV? What is up here? Somebody's uh, tent. <coughs> I don't know if there's anybody in there. Nice little campsite. What is ADV? God, it's so catchy these days. It's all over the place. People are uh, people are tagging it to the end of their name. They're tagging, they're hashtagging it, making videos about it. Well, of course, ADV is just short for adventure. Um, but doesn't it seem as though sometimes the trail just runs out on you? These frickin', that's the one thing about these, uh, these power line trails is like you think you're gonna get one that's gonna go a while, and then it just runs away from you. Or, it doesn't run away, it just stops. But they're fun to go down nonetheless, even if you have to turn around. And I will be riding a little cautious today on today's little ADV ride. As I'm out here by myself. And I don't have, I didn't bring the PLB. I think I just need to get my, I borrowed my dad's PLB for a while. I think I just need to break down and buy one of those spots. I just hate the subscription. So yeah guys, what is uh, ADV? Uh, you know, everybody's got their probably their own interpretation, interpretation of adventure. Uh, and I kind of wanted to talk about this because it kind of is a uh, precursor into my video, my Utah video from my trip down to Utah this last eight, uh, March. You know, adventure is defined as something, uh, an experience that is either exciting or dangerous, um, which I can agree with that. I mean, well, it's a definition. You kind of have to agree, right? Um, but everybody can have their own interpretation and, and definition. You know, and I think there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there that might uh, oh, not a lot of people, but uh, you know, you get some people that are true diehard. You know, uh, adventure is this, or you know, whereas most of us would accept uh, the fact that adventure is. It's individual. It's the individual experience that you have. Whether it's this could be the biggest adventure, just getting on a motorcycle and going down this road uh, to one person, yet to another person, this is just like everyday life. So obviously, adventure and ADV is highly subjective, depending on who you are and what your previous life experience is. It's not just a hardcore adventure where everything goes wrong and you almost died and it gives you these this huge collection of bragging rights. Uh, I, I feel that adventure extends beyond that and I you know everybody should go out and seek adventure in some way, shape, or form. Venture and ADV 
isn't just apply to motorcycles. It applies uh, to a lot of things in life. Okay, I got to... I'm so my today my little my adventure plan is to go find this certain spot on the mountain here with a good view of hood. I was reading, I've been trying to get more involved in the ADV community, uh, specifically adventurerider.com. And then uh, also just following more local guys uh, in my area and, and around and pages. Trying to be, uh, you know, just more a little more involved and connected and kind of not so, uh, not so, I'm coming up on my first waypoint here. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, no, I know where I'm at. Not so uh, just, uh, you know, oriented it focused just on the YouTube community. So we are going to go up here and I believe we're going to take a right. Pretty sure. left is going to spill back in that road so that's another one of my you know the captain obvious so trying to be more involved in the community and getting on uh, ADV rider more kind of checking things out and, you know a lot of this I never really considered considered myself you know much of a much or even a, hardly a dual sport guy I just kind of more of a dirt bike guy however as time has become less and less available to get out and ride, I found that uh, riding my KTM and my dual sport is kind of the way to go. It's, I don't have to load up the bike and go anywhere. I can just ride out of my garage. And I've always known I lived in a pretty damn cool place. Like Mount Hood is really kind of a beacon for me in, in my life. It's a very special, very special place. some logging going on. I just fast forwarded through a bunch of pavements and to get you get you back on the gravel and start recording back on this excellent with this excellent view of Mount Hood right there. This is not the normal view that I show because I'm on the well, I'm still on the south side of the mountain, but I'm more on the uh, actually no, I'm not on the south side of the mountain at all. I'm usually on the south side of the mountain. Right now I'm on the uh, I guess west side of the mountain. I'm coming from the south side, going to the west, west to northwest actually. This is kind of, yeah, northwest side. Anyways, I'm rambling again. So I started an ADV rider account years ago. You know, and I talk about ADV being like kind of this, you know, it, it's not new, the word and the synonym or the antonym or the abbreviation. It's not a synonym or an antonym. What am I even talking about? The uh, the thing. It's not new. I mean, ADV Rider's been around for a hell of a long time. I'm sorry, I don't know how long because I'm a I'm not a very knowledgeable. I'm a noob. In, I'm a noob when it comes to the to the ADV Rider and inmates. I've had an account for like four years and I've only been on there a handful of times. So I'm trying to remedy to that. And what I'm doing today is I'm going actually up to a spot to take some pictures that I thought was a pretty cool view on a post that I found on ADV Rider by Apple Jam. Apple Jam lives in the Hood River Parkdale area, I believe. 
So yeah, guys, what does ADV mean to you? Um, like I said, I think it. Uh, I think anything can be an adventure. I think the biggest thing that should make that makes an adventure is your openness, willingness to put aside fear, no, whether no matter how big nor small. Have an open mind. Go out into the wilderness. I do believe that will that wilderness nature and, and ADV are kind of it, it, that's a being out in the being out in the uh, in my terms I guess being out in the wilderness or nature uh, is kind of a requirement for adventure. Um, now I mean there's other kinds of adventures I guess you can have, but I think that I think that's a that's a requirement in a situation that you might have to figure do some problem solving to figure it out that to me is adventure so let me know what you guys think what do you think and then we're gonna finish off this ride up at this viewpoint and I'm gonna take some uh, Click some pictures, and then I'm gonna figure out how I want to go home. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to go back the way I came, or make a loop around the mountain. I don't know. I'm trying to keep an open mind and and just kind of let the let the adventure take me. You know what? I think that I missed something because I am way off from where I intended. Let the day take you away. Just make sure when you go on an adventure, make sure you have pack water and first aid kit and a light and some basic stuff to that if you uh, if your adventure turns into more of an adventure than you were anticipating that you're prepared for it there's nothing to, nothing saying that you can't nothing saying that you can't go out and have a prepared adventure you should have a prepared adventure otherwise you're gonna have an idiot adventure and then you're gonna become a statistic And here we are. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, go go have yourselves an adventure. No matter big, no no matter how small, just get out there and do something. Scare yourself a little. Push yourself. Challenge yourself. It's really easy to it's really easy to sit back and not do that these days. So get out there moto have an adventure go find a view like this somewhere okay guys that's all i gotta say i'll leave you with that thanks for watching ness out